Today I'd like to demonstrate the inspector's portal on the Vehicle Inspection Pro's website. First thing we need to do is we need to log in as the inspector. Once in, um, you'll see the first thing that uh, the inspector's brought to is the Manage Business Addresses um, tab on the left hand side of the website. And the reason for this is there are constantly new addresses being added into the Vehicle Inspection Pro's website um, of business addresses or I guess you could call them inspection locations that an inspector needs to approve or disapprove um, on a regular basis. And here, um, you know, I'm looking through accepted business addresses. Uh, one of those is, is 10 miles away here, and then the other one is, uh, looks like 1,700 uh, plus miles away. And just to give you an idea of what this looks like, um, we'll go ahead and delete this 1,700 mile one. And it just goes back up in here to the available addresses. And so now you have a full view of, um, you know, available addresses, that, you know, the addresses that you have available to you to approve or to reject. You have a list of accepted business addresses here. And then finally you have a list of rejected business addresses here as well. Now, um, the system has validated this uh, available business address. That means it's gone out to um, our mapping system and it has mapped this system uh, or mapped this location in the system and it has came back as a valid address. So at this point um, we want to go ahead and accept this location and when you accept that location that lets the administrator know and it allows the administrator to dispatch inspections to you at this location. You also have several other, other tabs over here. We'll start with the View Inspections tab. And as you can see, I have inspections received from the administrator. Here's an, here's an inspection that is uh, 1,700 miles away from me. Now, I'm, I'm normally not going to accept a inspection 1,700 miles away from, from me. But um, for this instance, uh, you know, it's a, it's a special inspection, uh, something like that. You know, maybe I'd want to, you know, just click here and I can accept that inspection or I can reject that inspection at this time. For this example, you can see that this inspection here, uh, it's a different inspection, but it's one of the inspections that we had accepted uh, previously. And then below, we do have an approved inspection, a, a, an inspection that has gone clear through the system, and uh, the system administrator has approved this inspection, and, and the inspection has been sent to the customer. Um, you can view the details of that inspection here. You just go into that inspection, and then uh, you can... Uh, view any of the images and that type of thing. This one's empty at, at, at this time, but that's where you would do that. Now let's, uh, this is the inspection that we've accepted here, and let's go into the details of that uh, inspection and just take a quick look since this is the inspection we're currently working. As you can see here, I've uploaded one photo, and that can be done here um, under Upload Image. You can also upload a document. I do have a document that I've uploaded here. And also down here, it, it lists that uh, those documents of, of when I uh, uploaded them, that type of thing. And I can go ahead and delete those to add in different images. Now the feature image here, you can only upload one feature image. And the reason for that is the feature image is the image that's used on the inspection report. So your customer and the administrator is going to you know, see this in the report form 
and it's just the, the feature image on the report. And you'll see that later on here. Now I want to go in and I want to uh, print off an inspection or I want to just go ahead and fill, out, fill in the inspection report online. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the inspection report. Within this inspection report you'll see I've got uh, two images. These are just the images that I've uploaded to the system. I can upload as many as I need. And then here's your feature image here. Um, displayed on the inspection report. Now I can do several things with this report. I can print, I can preview it, I can print it, um, or I can just save and update the report. So I can go through in this example and I can update all these different fields. Um, the, here we're, we're inspecting a, a trailer and you know, as you can see, there, there are several different fields that you may need to uh, uh, fill in, you know, for this inspection. And you'd go through this uh, form, make sure all of the required fields are, are filled out, and, and also um, make sure any uh, damage and that type of thing is added to the inspection. You can add another line here. Um, of damaged or excess wear and tear items. This uh, estimated repair cost is a total. You know, in in total, what what uh, do we think it would cost to to make these repairs? And you can just add another item here if if uh, need be. Now I'll go back to our previous screen. Um, again, this is where you can upload more images. As you upload images, they will show across here as well as in the inspection report. I can edit my profile information here. Um, you know, if, if my address changes or it's not quite in the system the way I, I want, maybe I want to uh, add the mailing address, that type of thing. Uh, that's also available. I have a uh, I'm able to change my password here. I need to confirm my password with, with my old password and then I'll enter in my new one. Um, we've been over uh, manage business addresses. And then the inspector's toolbox is just a resource for downloading um, reports or downloading uh, different informational documents that will constantly be updated to you know, better perform as an inspector. And then the training center, um, we will have, you know, periodically have videos um, and that type of thing uploaded to the site and as well as documents and that type of thing. And this is a, this is where you can uh, train on being a uh, an inspector uh, as well as using the site. I think that concludes our demonstration of the inspectors portal.